I was riding um, on my way to work today and I just happened to look over and read the word storage. But instead of uh, reading it in the normal direction, I saw rage first and I thought, oh, what, what is that? Oh, storage. And I thought, huh, rage, storing rage. It reminded me of like the bag lady, you know, has packaging all this stuff that, uh, you know, like worry, um, anger, accusations, um, you know, all these hurts and pains and, and things in life. I don't know why we always call it the bag lady. It could be the bag man, you know, anything, but just storing things, just not letting it go. And then what came up was um, to be empty, just be empty. It's like a lot of people, um, you know, they go through life um, trying to gain uh, all these accomplishments, titles, uh, accolades, and... Um, trying to be something, you know, and they're just adding and adding and trying to climb up the ladder, adding financial income. Everybody wants to be something. And when you meet people, first thing they say is, uh, you know, they start telling you of all their accomplishments or whatever happened to the kids, you know, it's just normal, um, conversation, especially when you haven't seen someone along, you know, my son is doing this and doing that and my daughter's doing this and and doing that. And it's all interest, interesting and lovely. It's like no one wants to be, you know, just nothing. Um, as a matter of fact, if someone was to say, you, you are nothing, that's like an insult for someone to say, you know, um, you know, to say that you're nothing. You know, people get hurt. Their feelings get hurt by that because everybody wants to be someone. But what come up, came up when I saw that story, it, it reminds me of just a house full of stuff, you know, or, um, all this emotional baggage that sometimes um, we can carry, you know, when there's hurts and pains, you know, it's like the mind loves to hold on. It'll keep replaying that, um, pain over and over and then it starts to add sensations to it in a storyline and then that just spirals out and um there's people that haven't talked to loved ones for years behind these stories that play in their minds over and over and the mind just grows it grows into a whole new entity usually um where some could just let go others they can't you hear about Loved ones not talking to each other for years. And then they've forgotten um, down the line what, what all, you know, spire, spiraled um, this relationship to this extent. But that's what it is. It's the mind just replaying the hurts and the pains and the inability to let those go, let it go and just be empty. But when I saw that storage, that word storage, it, and I read that rage first, and it just read to me storing rage, or you could put storing chaos, or storing hurt, storing pain, anything behind that. But do we need this storage? Should we have storage? Um, what does that call? It within ourselves, what kind of blockages does that cause within ourselves? Sometimes you see people with so many illnesses, and um, especially when um, you see one that is depressed, it seems like there's other ailments that comes up, or maybe there's an overeating or undereating. The underlying source is usually always. Um, something that they just have not let go. Whether it was consciously or subconsciously, they might have had traumas. And um, 
the body responds to the stored energy that um, it's hard to let go, even if it's a belief system. Sometimes, you know, you see um, children that are raised in certain environments and they told certain things over and over and um, their response to that is anger. You know, they go through life feeling left out or hurt or not accepted by their parents or loved ones. And you can just see the amount of trauma that that does to their, not only their mind, but sometimes the body has to pay for all of that storage. So it's good to go ahead and let go. Just instead of storing that rage, just to be okay with just being. Is it okay with being nothing? Because essentially, what what are we? Are we a bunch of baggage, bunch of accolades, bunch of titles? Is that who we are? All these things, accomplishments, does that define who we are? Is that our identity? Can we find our identity in our accomplishments of who we are? Is that the truth of what we are? Is it okay to be nothing? I'm fine with being nothing. You know, it's okay with me um, to, to just be. I don't need a title to define me, you know. I know that's not me, really. I know the words are just that. You know, these accomplishments that we call accomplishments, we can make it a choice of whether anything, um, whether we identify uh, with the titles. Because then... What happens when we do identify with the titles? Does that put us in a box? Because some, even in this space of YouTube, I've seen people, you know, change up their channel and they're sitting there explaining um, to the audience of why they had to, you know, maybe stop doing hair videos and do more life videos. And I'm like thinking to myself, there's no explanation needed. <laughs> You put that definition on yourself, so now you feel like you have to go back and clean that up. No, I'm no longer a hair. Now I'm this. Um, you don't have to be any of it. You can just give it a, us an experience. And whether that's hair today and a life vlog tomorrow and and whatever else, you know, that's why, you know, I'm, on this channel, there is a mixing up. I just go with what I feel. And sometimes it may not seem like it's aligned with. Uh, the contemplations of the heart, but it's okay. I'm not in, I have not set any parameters or projections in regards to anything. And that that gives you a, a, a sense of uh, just being free. It's okay to um, have a character of this one day and that another. It's okay. Whatever you feel, um, it's okay. That's, that's the freedom of being empty. Then you can be everything, really. But someone that thinks themselves just a ball player, what happens when they can no longer dribble, no longer run, no longer shoot? Um, what does that do to the, with the belief about themselves? Someone that thinks they're a doctor, a lawyer, and they no longer can perform the duties that are required have the capacity to do that. What happens to the identity of, of that belief system when it's no longer there? Someone that thinks I'm this or I'm that and you can no longer live up to that. Something changes in your life. Say you had an accident and you were a runner. What happens when your belief was I'm a runner? And no, you can no longer run. Did that set boundaries? Having these belief systems of trying to be this and trying to be that. People are trying to be everything. That's why the stores <laughs> stay full in like when you go to the beauty supplies. Because women, we're the, we're the number one shoppers when it comes to switching up of what we are 
you know, each day. We buy different wigs depending on how we want to be that day, how we want to look, you know, how we want. And these are K to play in. As long as you know fundamentally that the weave is not you, your hair is not you, your skin, these bodies, your shape, your forms. Whether you're going to the surgery and you get enhancements, the enhancements are not you. As long as we're not identifying with the shapes, the forms, the concepts, the changing that's here today and gone tomorrow. Um, it's okay to play in those. But there's suffering involved when we identify with something that's not really true. It's not even, I can't say really, it's just not true. Shapes, the forms, and concepts, not who we are. We're that breath of life. That pure awareness, which the Bible says was blown into our nostrils. So we can release that baggage, that storage, that storing of rage. <laughs> it's okay to release it. Let it go and be empty. Just find your life, which you are life, but in what we call life, an expression of that emptiness which love and peace abound, everything, because there is nothing to stumble over, all can flow in. The universe will respond to that. And your life will be an expression of that peace and love and joy, abundance that we all are. And so, yeah, that's what came up. Um, yeah, just letting go. Be empty. It's okay to be nothing. Then which everything can flow. And uh, have its being and, and move without in this space. Anyway, that's what came up today. Um... I thank you for sharing this moment with me. Remember, you are beautiful and I love you.